Well, as the dust settles from Tuesday's midterm elections, Republicans are planning to uh, how they're going to continue with this momentum and use it after taking control of the Senate, along with adding an even larger majority in the House. Democrats are adjusting to a new reality on Capitol Hill, and President Obama this afternoon is talking about how all of this will impact his final two years in office. Craig Boswell has the latest from the White House. For the first time since President Obama took office, he will face a Congress with Republicans in control of both houses. So to everyone who voted, I want you to know that I hear you. To the two-thirds of voters who chose not to participate in the process yesterday, I hear you too. The GOP picked up at least seven Senate seats from Democrats and added at least 10 seats in the House of Representatives. Now, obviously, Republicans had a good night, and they deserve credit for running good campaigns. The president phoned Senator Mitch McConnell, who is positioned to become the new Senate Majority Leader. The American people have spoken. They've given us divided government. The question for both the president and for the speaker and myself and our members is what are you going to do with it? The president has invited congressional leaders to the White House on Friday to begin discussing some of the challenges that lie ahead. Both sides are facing questions about whether they can end the gridlock. As president, I have a unique responsibility to try and make this town work. The Democrat who counts is the President of the United States. Democrats in Congress will support whatever he agrees to do. Republicans can still add to their numbers. Senate races in Virginia and Alaska haven't been called. There's a runoff in Louisiana and a number of House races still unsettled. Craig Boswell, CBS News, the White House.